what's going on everybody welcome welcome and today i want to talk about this historic event that has happened recently we have a new president and new vice president and it ends the era of a former administration for those who don't know what i'm talking about uh joe biden has now been elected president and Kamala Harris has now been elected vice president, okay? Which is now, which means that Donald Trump is no longer president, all right? He's been voted out. So now we have a new administration coming in and it looks very different from the previous administrations. More especially, you have Kamala Harris who is now the first female and black vice president in the history of the United States. There's never been a female vice president in the history of the United States. So, which is historic because like I said, it's unprecedented. We, we, we have done something that has never been done before, okay? And you have Joe Biden, who was the vice president, former vice president under Barack Obama, uh, the 45th president. I'm sorry, the 44th president, pardon me, the 44th president, Barack Obama, pardon me. And with this presidency coming in, you are seeing a major change, literally overnight, a major change in the attitude and morale of the entire country, almost the entire world. For the past four years, this country has been in a mental state, collective mental state, that I have never seen in my lifetime. You have seen people express views that were way past controversial, and in any other time in history, they would have kept to themselves. But due to the administration of the 45th president, um, Donald Trump, people were emboldened. Some people were emboldened to express their views. A lot of negativity, a lot of racial statements were being made, a lot of discrimination, a lot of atrocities took place that we've never seen before. Well, I won't say we've never seen before, but it's just been highlighted more due to social media, okay? And now that that administration is out and this administration is coming in with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, like I said before, the morale has changed, did a complete 180 literally overnight. But I've learned some things. I've learned some things from Donald Trump's administration and I'm learning some things about this incoming administration. What I'm learning and what I think is coming to the surface now is that we as Americans can no longer hide certain things about our history that we try to keep under the rug for so many years. I always said America has a postcard. America is like a postcard, right? On a, on a postcard, there's always an image, some kind of positive image. You know, there's always a, an ideal situation on the postcard. The image is very ideal. You know, you'll see buildings looking pristine and immaculate. And that's the postcard side. That's the propaganda side. That's the side that many countries would like to show to the rest of the world to say hey you know we are a gold standard right but there's also the underside there's also the full message on the postcard you have the wish you were here then you have the real story or one of the real stories about how 
things are going where you are. And what we are seeing is we are seeing both of those sides being displayed. We are seeing the, the ideal picturesque side and we are seeing the not so pretty rough to understatement rough edges of the nation right and now due to social media and, and just people these people are just more in tune with the world now than any other time before because we never had technology such as this to link the world together and for four years we've seen the world has seen the world has been witness to the underside of America. We've seen it. We, we, we can't. We've seen it, and now we can't hide it anymore. See, there was one time where those in America were subject to horrible acts, but because there wasn't social media, news wasn't getting around to the world like that. You were able to hide it. It would get out and you were able to hide it. And no one would ever know. So those who would say, hey, I'm subject to police brutality. I've been a victim of racism. I've been a victim of misogyny. These things that were said at one point in time could be pushed away because, well, there wasn't, there wasn't any great ways to have the news get out. Now, when these things happen, with a press of a button, a literal press of a button, the world can know, hey, things aren't all as cracked up to be. It ain't all sweet, right? Now that side's being exposed. So now, we, now we're in the era of full transparency, full balance. You can see all of the good, all of the bad, and all of the ugly. And what's happening is, what, I, what I've learned from Trump's administration is a lot of people expressed views that, that, pe that we never thought would actually have in their mind. And you no longer have to expose someone else now. They will expose themselves under their own free will of the court. They will expose themselves. And once you say it or do it, you can't take it back no more. Many people, both in the public figure and just people in just the regular public, have put themselves out there and they can't pull it back no more. If you were a racist behind the scenes, and once you get caught expressing certain things, you can't take it back no more. You expose yourself and it's a wrap now but it's the same thing with the positive we, we are now seeing both sides we, we've seen the worst and we've seen we're seeing the best and it's it's the, it's the nature it's the true nature of the human psyche the country is ran by people the world is ran by people and we are finally seeing for the first time in this full spectrum, the complete psychology of the human being. The good, bad, the ugly, the indifferent, the horrible, the loving, the compassionate, the corrupt. We're seeing all of it in full display within a, within a 24 hour span. And now, now is where the full the full message begins. The full story is able to be told because now everything is out in the open. Everything is exposed. Good and bad. It's all exposed now. So now you can fully realize what it's like to be an American. Like to be a human. Because now we all can see. We all can see we saw the horrible and we're seeing the great. Okay? We're seeing the good. So that's my lesson. That's what I learned in these past four years and what I, what I see happening now. These, this is what I learned.
you know so tell me what you all think what what would you pick up from all of this what you learn from this huh let me know in the comment section catch you all later peace